wanted to make a video. This was by request uh, in one of the comment sections. Someone had requested how to present a neuro patient. This is, I guess, geared more towards like medical students and maybe like other rotators uh, rotating through neurology, like maybe medicine residents, things like that. So I just wanted to be real quick how to present a neuro patient from my experience. The first thing uh, I've talked about probably drop this video already but a video about chart review so with neurology it's super important to get a very detailed history and know I have a very detailed chart review a lot of the patients that come to neuroservice say like a seizure patient or stroke patients they have really complicated histories and a lot of the times they have they've already been worked up and there's a diagnosis and you kind of know the trend of these patients all right so how to present a neuro patient so I guess it kind of can depend on the type of patient. So we'll kind of, let's break it down into like a stroke patients and then general neurology patients. So for stroke patients, the most important thing um, is explaining exactly what happened in a, say a stroke code or a stroke consult. Well, we'll talk about, we can talk about stroke codes at another time because that gets kind of complicated. But for say like a stroke patient. So what's the, the first thing you want to know? You want to know, when was their last known well? When were they normal? Uh, when did, when I say normal, when were they at their baseline? And when did they, when was the change? What happened and what symptoms, symptoms did they have? So stroke patients, very important what the, their symptom presentation was. Was it left arm weakness? Was it aphasia? Was it just dysarthria? Like what was the symptoms? When did it change? And when were they okay? And then when you're presenting these patients, depending if they're a stroke code or a console, just if they've been out of the window for very long, is did what interventions took place? Did they receive thrombolytics? Did they receive mechanical thrombectomy? Then how are they doing today? I mean, it's very important to know the exam and to see if anything changes, right? Because if something's changing, you wanna get repeat scans because you wanna make sure these patients are stable. So that's just like presenting a little bit of the history and then knowing like the risk factors, like A1C, lipid panel, like what, do they have hypertension? Do they smoke a lot? What's their pack year uh, history? So these are like super important questions because that kind of that can guide management. You might need to consult medicine for hypertension management because you don't want this patient to have another stroke. Do they have AFib? You might need to get cardiology on board. Are they on anticoagulation? So these are these are pretty important questions. Next is like knowing your exam, right? So their mental status. What's their strength like? Their sensation. Um, are they neglecting? Do they have like large vessel? signs like aphasia, neglect, things like that. And then what's the plan? Like what's pending? A lot of stroke patients, there's just, there's a straight up workup. So you need an MRI most of the time on most patients. You need a TTE with bubble study just to check the cardiac function. You need the lipid panel, you need A1C. And then what is their disposition? Are they going to go to rehab now that they've had a stroke? That's kind of like quick, fast, how to present a stroke patient. We can go in more detail in other videos. Next would be like general neuro patients. So this is like, this is a big scope. So we're talking like seizure patients. We're talking headache patients. We're talking movement disorder patients. The list can kind of go on. Um, with these patients, same as with stroke, like good chart review, check, done. Um, next thing is uh, how they present it. So if it was, let's say it's a seizure, how many seizures was it? three seizures and then they were back to normal? Was it one seizure and then they never came back to normal? What was the story? So neurology, when presenting a patient in neurology, biggest part, most important part, what happened, get as much detail as you can, call the family, figure out as much detail about this situation as possible. Your exam is very important, right? Just like with stroke patients. So their mental status, it could be anywhere from intubated and sedated to super agitated and screaming at you. These are really important things to, to note. Uh, next thing is like their strength exam, their sensory exam, their uh, cerebellar testing, their gait, how's their ambulation? That's that's very important in neurology. Similar to stroke, but um, general neurology, like it is very general, it's broad. Uh, so know what things to focus on. So if it's a seizure patient, you should know what AEDs have they been on? Are they taking their AEDs? Is this a provoked seizure, unprovoked seizure? Do they follow up with a seizure clinic? Do they have an epileptologist that they work with? Have they had prior EEGs? These are important things to put in your notes and talk about. Let me know in the comments uh, what you want, what more, what other videos you want from the neuro side of things. 
I know uh, in that comment that the person who requested this video, they, they mentioned there's not a lot of neuro content out there, and I think that's true. There's not much, so let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, just got off night shift, so I need to go to bed. Peace.